Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's pick a card reading is what does my future look like? I have three piles here. Pile number one is represented by a piece of pyrite. Pile number two is represented by an aquamarine. And pile number three is represented by an onyx. So go ahead and choose the pile that resonates with you. And while you're doing that, I'm going to take a moment to ask that if you like these videos, please hit the like button, subscribe, turn on the bell icon, and definitely please leave me a comment down below. I love talking with you guys. You make my day so much better. I have met the coolest people on this channel, and I am just so grateful for every single one of you. You make my days so much better. So, um, yeah, talk to me. Let me know what's up with you. Um, pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. If you be, need a bit more time, pause that video and let's get started. All right. Pile number one, you chose the pyrite. And let's see what the cards have to say to you. New beginnings. Let this magic in my spell clear the space in which I dwell. Romance. Romance, it is a sacred power. Let it come to me this hour. Victory. I shall celebrate and I shall rise. I will let victory make me wise. 44, 23, and 35 are your numbers. I see a new beginning in love coming for you in your future, pile number one. Um, we have a new beginning, we have romance, and we have victory. So not only is this a new beginning in love, but this is like the beginning in love. This is your soulmate, your twin flame, your other half. Um, I mean, that's the only reason I could see romance and victory being together. This is a beautiful relationship coming in for you, pile number one. If you were looking for a career reading, this ain't it. I'm sorry. Um, no, I. if you're looking for a career reading, there is a new beginning in something that you absolutely love doing. Something that, um, you know, maybe makes you feel good about yourself. And when you feel good about yourself, you feel, you know, it's easier to feel in a romantic mood. This, this thing, this job, this career, it allows you to feel victorious. But there's a new beginning coming in. So maybe there's a new job that you're going to absolutely love and feel victorious at coming in. But mostly, for the bulk of you, I see this as a love reading. There's a new beginning in romance that's going to bring you victory. And that is what I have for you. Pile number one. Um, I should say that's what the cards have for you. <laughs> that's what's going to happen in your future. And... Um, yeah, thank you for spending time with me. I hope you guys have a really great day, and please take care of yourselves. Bye. All right. Pile number two, you chose the aquamarine. And let's see what is coming in for your future. We have harmony, number 27. As I create, I will share harmony divine with love and care. We have number 38, Divine Guidance, Whispers from the Beings Who Shine, Let Their Message Be Clear and Kind. We have Prosperity, number three. As this tree grows so strong, so fine, so may I prosper from the universal divine. And number 14, Friendship. Bring to me friendship true, sharing laughter, understanding too. So what is coming in for your future pile number two harmony follow the signs you're going to be prosperous and you're going to have a lot of good friendships um what is coming in for you if this is a career reading there is going to be harmony trust your intuition and follow your gut because your gut is going to be the signs from above and you'll be prosperous. Um, this may have something to do with a friend, or you may wind up with a friend through this new job. Uh, if this is a love reading, obviously, you guys are in harmony. 
pay attention to the signs, this relationship will prosper. It will grow. It will be good. But it's it's based, especially if it's based on a solid foundation of friendship. Um, the other thing I'm seeing is if you want to be in harmony, you have to listen to your gut. You have to trust your intuition. And when you start doing that, then this prosperity comes in. You start meeting new friends. You start going out more. You start doing more things. You maybe meet the love of your life. But in order to find this harmony, you have to follow the signs and you have to trust your gut. And this prosperity and friendship will come in time. And that is what I have for you, pile number two, as far as what the future holds. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to spend it with me. And I want to ask you to make sure that you stay safe. Wash your hands, disinfect your surfaces, and take care of yourself. Because I need to see you back here. I love you guys. I care about you guys. I want you to be healthy. Bye. Pile number three. You chose the onyx. And let's see what the future has for you. Your first card is Magical Powers, number 24. I weave and clear, I cast and know. Magic's secrets to me now show. You might be psychic, or you may, you know, have a very good intuition, um, if you don't like to use the psychic word. <laughs> safe travel, keep me safe and let me roam far away, but bring me home, number 22. So you may be a psychic who does conventions and stuff. Maybe you go to a lot of conventions. Um, maybe you travel with um, another show of some kind or other people, um, motivational speakers and the like. We have psychic protection. Number 40, around me now a shield of gold protecting me, strong and bold. Okay. And then justice, number five, by the power of three by three, Ma, deliver justice to me. So what is going on in your future, pile number three? You're a, you got a little bit of a bizarre one going on. Um, what I'm seeing here is that you might be psychic and you might be currently traveling. And while you're traveling... I want you to meditate and picture yourself surrounded in a shield of gold. I want you to filter. If you're an empath, I want you to filter as much as you can because the cards are telling you you're going to need psychic protection. But if you're able to protect yourself, you're going to be fine. We've got justice here. Um, so if you're traveling and you want safe travel, protect yourself. Not just physically, but psychically, mentally, emotionally. Filter your heart. Filter your thoughts. Try and keep things as neutral as possible. Um, the other possibility is someone cursed you. <laughs> you feel like someone cursed you. And... The cards are saying that if someone did curse you, you're traveling somewhere to get it figured out. And when you go there, you you do. You get it figured out. You, you wind up with this psychic protection and then justice comes your way. Meaning what I see that as is whoever cursed you winds up with the curse. <laughs> do I believe in curses? I really don't. But I do also, I do believe in the power of suggestion. And I do believe that if you believe in something, it's true to you. Um, so uh, take that for how you will. Um, if you believe in curses, then this curse is real. It's true to you. And it, it, it is, it's something that you need to practice and work on removing, taking care of. Um, yeah. That's what I'm seeing here. Wait. While you're traveling, you may have 
like a premonition or a weird feeling about something. And the cards are telling you that if you're traveling somewhere and you start having a weird feeling about something, like you're really uncomfortable or something else, do what you can to protect yourself. Physically, psychically, psychologically, emotionally, what have you. Do whatever you can to protect yourself and because ju justice is on your side. So try and stay clear. Try and stay strong um, and protect yourself because you have justice on your side. So everything will work out okay in the end. And that is what I have for you, pile number three. And I want to thank you for spending time with me. And I want to tell you to take care of yourself because... You know, psychic protection is, is that's, that's something serious. Um, whether, you know, you believe that you're being attacked psychically or whether it's just psychological protection that you really need uh, because you have someone that, you know, harms you in your past or in your present. Um, but... I, honestly, what is really standing out for me is the whole, you're traveling somewhere and you need safe, you need to be safety. You need to be safe. Here's an RFID wallet. Make sure, um, you're not letting anybody read your passwords. Um, if you're using the hotel Wi-Fi, make sure you're not going on to anything. Someone can grab, you know, all of your passwords off of, um, be safe, be smart and take care of yourself. Pile number three. I love you guys. Bye. And I hope you have a good day. Um, for those of you wondering what deck I used, these are the Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Thank you very much for taking time to spend it with me. And I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye.